Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. So the other day I talked about a few of the things Battlefield 1's closed alpha gets right, but today I'm talking about where the game misses the mark. Again, thanks to Jack Frags and Elemental Gaming 3 for the video footage. All right, let's get to it. Here are six things Battlefield 1's alpha gets wrong and things I hope DICE considers fixing before the full release of Battlefield 1. Number one is iron sights. Now, I really appreciate the research DICE has done into the available technology of the time and adding interesting apertures and scopes, but I really just want to see some more iron sights. A lot of the advanced sights are rather clunky and impractical, and I'd really like the option to have standard iron sights on every weapon and in every class. Number two, mobile healing and ammo. This was a great addition to the Battlefield franchise in Battlefield Hardline, but it doesn't appear to be in Battlefield 1. If you're unfamiliar with it, you can approach a player who is either an assault or a support class and take a health pack or ammunition from them. This helped remedy one of the worst parts of Battlefield 4, which was dumb blueberries who didn't play their role. I could be there all day asking for ammo, chasing someone down who's playing a support class, only for the both of us to die from a tank I couldn't kill because I didn't have enough RPGs. The idea that everyone who plays a Battlefield game actually knows how to be useful is laughable, so I really hope DICE finds a way to work this mechanic into Battlefield 1. It was a lifesaver, and it reduced a lot of frustration for me in Battlefield Hardline. Number 3. Gas. I really like that gas grenades will be in Battlefield 1. I loved using them in Hardline, but based on my observations, the gas disperses too quickly to be useful. It should hang around a little bit longer and have a greater impact on the battle, especially since everyone appears to have a gas mask to counter it. I also really dislike that gas does not affect players in vehicles. In World War I, tanks didn't have special ventilation systems or keep a positive pressure to keep the gas out. Tankers were issued gas masks just like everyone else and would have to put them on in the presence of gas. There's probably no real easy way for DICE to remedy this, but I would like them to consider it. Number 4. Exiting Vehicles I love that DICE has added an animation for entering a vehicle, especially since players entering the vehicle are vulnerable at that time. You can kill someone attempting to get into a vehicle. What I don't like is that there isn't an exit animation. Why would you have one without the other is beyond me. One of the more annoying parts of any Battlefield game is playing tank carousel with the enemy or being killed by someone who just magically pops out of a tank or another vehicle. Having an exit animation makes it a more tactical choice to exit that vehicle. This would also reduce the situations of being robbed of kills when the enemy player bails out at the last possible second. Number 5 is Weapon Balance, and yes, I'm aware this is the Battlefield 1 Alpha. A major reason companies have alphas is to help balance the game, so there are a few things DICE needs to work on. Most stationary weapons in Battlefield games are historically woefully underpowered to the point that they are completely useless, and I really hope that is not the case with Battlefield 1. Some people have said tanks are overpowered, though I disagree. I think the assault class is more than adequately equipped to take out a heavy tank, as long as teammates play their role. And it's this kind of teamwork that DICE wants to foster. Other players have complained the submachine guns are too overpowered, or the semi-automatics have too much recoil. Either way, I'm sure DICE is pouring over tons of data to work out a satisfactory solution. And lastly, glitches. Again, yes, this is an alpha. While I've spotted several glitches in Battlefield 1's closed alpha, some of them are not new to the franchise. Trying to mount obstacles but not actually jumping over them, and the stuck suppression effect are still present from previous games. There's also a variety of graphical glitches, some of which are more entertaining than others. By far the most interesting is a physics bug with one of the game's tanks, which is showcased here by Danny on PC. I'm not sure what the issue is, but it certainly destroys the gritty, realistic look Battlefield 1 is going for. There are also a few other examples of glitches out there, but again, this is the point of an alpha, to identify and then rectify the known issues. After talking about a few of the things Battlefield 1 got wrong in the game's alpha, I feel it's important to note I don't see anything particularly concerning that would cause me to cancel my pre-order or to not purchase the game. I've seen significantly buggier betas. 
What are your opinions on Battlefield 1's alpha? What do you think DICE should change before the game's full release? Tell me in the comments. If you want to know what I think DICE got right, you can check out this video that follows. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button, share on social media, and subscribe so you're always up to date with the latest videos. If you ever want to talk about videos or topics with me, check my social media links in the video description. And as always, thanks for watching.